George Marshall loved his pet dogs and had many canine companions in his life, from a childhood mutt to a Norwegian elk hound gifted by Norway in gratitude for the Marshall Plan. Fleet the Dalmatian was a gift from Secretary of State Edward Stettinius during World War II, and the dog had quite a pedigree. He was the grandson of a national champion recalled General Marshall. Even so, Catherine said Fleet was beautiful but dumb. However, he loved his master with a devotion and adoration so complete that George's heart was touched. Fleet, in fact, was the one stupid thing in which I have ever known him to take delight. Fleet loved to run, and learned to mind when Marshall went riding his horse. He remarked in a letter, I get in a ride almost every day, and Fleet is now an accomplished coach dog when it comes to following and obeying. Marshall noted, Fleet is crazy about getting in the car when I go horseback riding. The trouble is, he gets into anybody's car. Sergeant Dumkey removed him from a stranger's car recently, where he was eating sandwiches. Since Fleet was causing constant problems at home at Quarters One on Fort Myer, Virginia, the Marshals enlisted him in the Army War Dog Program at Front Royal, Virginia, to put his energy to good use as a messenger or a first aid dog. Marshall shared the results in a letter. My stepdaughter Molly saw him there not so long ago, and he had not proved to be a very valiant soldier. He was gun shy and delighted to see anyone, friend or enemy. In a movie of the Army Dogs the other day, they had him sitting on top of his kennel. Marshall's donation of his beloved fleet, the one stupid thing he delighted in, was in character with the example that he and Catherine set during the war. He wrote about sacrifice in a 1944 letter. The most important factor of all is character, which involves integrity, unselfish and devoted purpose, and a willingness to sacrifice self in the interest of common good.